Hello and welcome to this presentation on centering in M+. Why do we use centering? When we have regression models or path models and we have, for example, interaction terms or when we work with multi-level or hierarchical linear models, then we often want to center our predictor variables to make the zero point on the predictor variable meaningful and or for other reasons that make our results more interpretable and more meaningful. So I want to show you an example here based on multi-level regression analysis in M+. This is a random coefficient regression model with a level 2 predictor and a level 1 predictor. And in this case here, the first option is grand mean centering that I'm showing now. This doesn't mean that grand mean centering is um, better or generally. It, um, depends on many different issues, whether you should use grand mean centering or group mean centering in multi-level analysis. I'm just showing you here how it works. So in M+, when you want to grand mean center a level 1 predictor, in this case KFT is the level 1 predictor, then you use the define command. And in the define command, you simply say define center that variable, which in this case is labeled KFT, and then in parentheses, grant mean, semicolon. Then M plus will handle the centering for you. And that can be used um, in a multi-level analysis or it can be used also in a regular single level regression or path model. Whenever you want to center a predictor, you can do it in this way. Now, how would you do um, group mean centering? You use the same exact command, but you just simply change grant mean to group mean and then you get group mean centering. What does that mean? That really only applies to multi-level analysis when you have, for example, students nested within school classes where you have groups at level two and so then you can um, center at the group mean or as we say um, sometimes at the cluster mean, the, so the school class specific mean and then each student's score gets looked at as a deviation from the class mean rather than the overall mean or grand mean and that in multi-level analysis that sometimes has advantages when you want to look at context effects where it matters uh, more, so to say, which school class a student is in because that can, for example, have an effect on that student's self-concept. Then you might want to think about group mean centering rather than grand mean centering, and that's how it would be done in M+. So you can see it's pretty straightforward. You use the define command and um, there you go. Of course, group mean centering would only be relevant to multi-level analysis in single level analysis, you only have the option of um, grand mean centering. If you're more interested in multi-level analysis and other analyses in M+, check out my other videos in the description and feel free to leave a comment in case you have something that you would like to see discussed with M+. See you next time.